A few years ago, I struggled with practicing drawing. I would draw for a day, a week, sometimes even a month, but eventually I'd be too tired or I'd be too busy. No matter the excuse, the motivation would fail. But back in 2022, everything changed. Practicing drawing, it became something I craved. And when I look back, I now know why. NASA. <laughs> Let me explain. When I first started drawing, I was inspired. I was fueled by the idea of trying to draw like the artists I saw and the animes I watched. But there was a problem. Inspiration never lasted long. Slowly but surely, my drive to learn to draw would disappear. And this is where NASA can help. You see, NASA has hired the brightest minds to take a hunk of steel and to throw it into space. But they realized one important thing I couldn't see when I first started drawing. And that is, I needed a reaction to help me crave drawing. And what NASA has realized about rockets that I failed to realize about drawing was that having a full tank of gas is not enough to get a rocket off the ground. And neither is having a Pinterest board or computer folder full of art inspiration enough. I needed an ignition that when combined with inspiration would push me. And the ignition I needed was a purpose. But before I share with you my purpose, I need to share with you the gravity problem. So in late 2022, I had the inspiration and I had a purpose, but I still had a problem, gravity. I knew I wanted to draw. I see other incredible artists draw, but my art did not look like theirs. So the question is, how did I stay motivated to do something I wasn't good at? Well, let's look at rocket ships again. NASA scientists know one major thing about rockets, that the most energy of a launch is used in the first 30 seconds trying to escape gravity. And like a rocket, when I started drawing, I had to use the most amount of mental energy trying to gain momentum in learning shapes, learning line quality, learning anatomy and gesture. These fundamentals took time and a massive amount of energy to learn, but I was able to shortcut the energy I used by doing one thing. And the thing I did was to find classes to help streamline my learning process. Classes such as character illustration, drawing faces, figures, and clothing by Gabriel Piccolo. Now in this class, he shares some great tips on how to approach figure drawings for character design, as well as how to draw the four core expressions of a face. Each of these tips I found to be useful in improving my overall understanding of figure drawing. And this class can be found on Skillshare, who is kindly sponsoring this video. Now Skillshare is an amazing platform with thousands of classes led by incredible professionals who teach illustration, design, digital drawing, traditional drawing, animation, and way more. If you're ready to take your learning to the next level, then your best part is you can get all of this for free if you access the link down below. So the first 500 people to use my link in the description will receive one month free trial of Skillshare. Get started today so you can prove your artwork. Thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this video. So I'll share with you the inspiration, the fuel. I share with you the challenge and the obstacles, but I haven't shared with you my goal that helped me crave drawing, the mission. We all want to draw. We all want to learn and grow. You clicked on this video to figure out how to draw more consistently. And to explain this, I have to share with you the one degree effect and the mistake I made in life. Now let's imagine we're going somewhere and our navigation system's off by just one degree. Now after traveling, one foot will miss our target by two tenths of an inch. No big deal. After traveling 100 yards, we'll miss by 5.2 feet. Not huge, but noticeable. After traveling a mile, we'll be off 92.2 feet. 
Now let's imagine we're traveling from San Francisco to LA. We'll be off by six miles. If we were traveling to go from San Francisco to Washington, D.C., that one degree effect would throw us off by 42.6 miles. Now let's imagine we're in a rocket and we're going to the moon. If we're only off by one degree, we'd miss the moon by over 4,169 miles. And here is a problem. Being off by only one degree, if your goal is long enough, you'll miss by miles. And so for me, I spent years of my life following a path that did not fulfill me. Getting a degree, finding a job, checking the boxes, drifting one degree off from who I wanted to be. And I knew then I wanted to make art my career. I wanted to become a freelance animator and character designer. And this was the goal that helped me create drawing. And a quote that I love that helps guide me says this. And so by being crystal clear about my direction, my path, I realized that even the smallest or largest of challenges could not and would not change the direction I set for myself. So the question becomes, do I draw every day to help me achieve this goal? And honestly, it may shock you if you knew how much I draw and to learn my philosophy on drawing and why it may not be as much as you think. Watch this next video.